What's up, guys? Um, it's your, like, every three-month YouTube video from me. Um, just finished climbing at the uh, climbing hangar, done some work, and me and Shiv are off to Lydon Hill on the south coast for the Nitro Rallycross. And I am insanely excited. Shiv is... I'm excited. I can't wait. So I am going to film... Uh, but we will see you when we are at the hotel in Folkestone. Hill, uh, the home of Rallycross. First ever Rallycross race was here, was it? Not, uh, February the 4th, 1967. <laughs> I googled it, it yesterday. That's the only reason I can remember the exact date, but I knew 1967. So, people who know me, know who I am, might not follow racing. This is Andrew Coley, the voice of Rallycross. Cheers, dude. The, the man himself, the uh, <laughs> legend of commentary. And Thank you. Soon to be commentator of World's Strongest Man. From yeah, well, yeah, we've done, yeah, we've done the TT last week. So maybe that was amazing as well. That yeah, was really crazy. Cool. It was crazy. So, how's the living looking? How's the track? Yeah, it looks awesome. We've got a brand new jump, great big tabletop jump off, Chester's Drift. So, Chester's Drift has now got banking in it. So, turn one, the joke has gone. They come yep. through chest and then up for a big tabletop jump. Devil's elbow, the hairpin and the rest, and then the Joker's in at the, on the time accept the outside panic bench. Oh, okay. So, Do we yeah. know the delta for the Joker? Or no the... idea at all. So no. timing was, we had a day's testing on Thursday and we're timing on for the day, but like if none of the teams really shared their times, it wasn't public. Oh, okay. So, so it's... Really honestly, F FP1 this morning will be the first time we got an idea of who's, awesome. who's quick and who's, uh, who's not. So. And this is our sort of first outing with the FP1X, yeah. is it? It is, yeah. What do you reckon to him? Because you had a passenger ride at Barcelona. I did, you? yes. I rode with Cabot, uh, not Cabot Pigham. I wore Cabot Pigham's crash helmet. I rode with Connor Martel. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah no, it's all right. Yeah, I was like, Connor, can I borrow your lid? Oh, Cabot, can I borrow your lid? Connor took me out. It was wet. It was a thousand horsepower, which is enough. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, it was, it was basically, it was, uh, it was exciting. Yeah. It, was, it, it would have been nice to go out in dry conditions and really feel the grunt because there's a limit, obviously. They've got too much power for the dry. Okay. Like if, if you rinse them really hard, you'll do your tyres in no time at all. So the, no I think the trick will be managing the tyres versus the lap time. You know, the ultimate. Yeah. same as in supercar. You know, yeah. Same as in supercar. All racing, isn't it? Yeah. You, yeah. you, you might be able to do tires, one hot lap. Right. Yeah. But you, if if that means your tyres are done for the rest, it's not good. So. Um, who's looking good? Who are you? Uh, yeah. So it's who was looking spectacular during testing was was Conor Martel. Uh, OC Baby and yeah. Chris Meek. So they're <laughs> yeah. all rally drivers. And so they've got that sandy thing where they just jump in, back in, and go forward. So um, Chris Meek's to Jensen's seat. Can, he has, right? yeah. Chris is doing three events this year when Jensen's got everyone coming in. So it's yeah, a good, good life. <laughs> it is a good life. And he will be. Travis, how's it going? <laughs> Travis, oh, Travis, 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 that's pretty cool, isn't it? He was in the background waving, oh, I was waving back, yeah. <laughs> He's such a good guy. And that's, uh, that's Chris Meek there as well. Oh, cool. So, uh, yeah, so, like, how cool is that? It's just unbelievable. Like, yeah. as a petrol head, I've been into extreme sports since, yeah. you know, since I was a kid. Like, Travis Pastrana's 
Like, oh, okay. mate, he's, yeah, he is. And then he's, he's level 11. Just, just wandering just around. Just wait for the back of your v Oh, no! That's How cool is that? <laughs> yeah, very good. Hopefully <laughs> try and grab a word with him, but... Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you can. Look, they're all really approachable. So yeah. I think pro either now or end of the day. You know, yeah, so yeah. Not yeah. just before. Not just really scared. Q1. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Can I get exactly. a quick chat? Exactly. Right, I'll leave you to do... Thanks, Dan. Awesome stuff. Good to see you. And I'll pop and see you in a bit. Yeah, thank you. Have a great weekend. With Travis Pastrana. How's it going? Man, myth, the legend, the nitro is your baby, really. I mean, you bought this to England, which is insane. Um, why do you want to make cars fly? <laughs> Everything's in fly. Nah, I mean, you're touring around the world with uh, nitro circuits, and yeah. we have so much fun um, as athletes. Rechanging the ramps, making the landings different, making it bigger, making it safer, making it so you can be like almost play a video game, but in real life. Um, so, I mean, when you see a video game and yeah. you have it driving around on a simple circuit, the racing is always fun, but you always to want to do something bigger. You want to slide more, you want to jump more, you want to yeah. do something that challenges you uh, as a driver. And I found that if the athletes at Nitro Circus were having fun, yeah. the crowd was having fun. Yeah. So, my goal is to make very challenging track that scares the drivers a little bit and yep. challenges us differently. Every track is different. We'll, we'll be on the snow and ice, flying through the air, well, everything you're flying, but yeah. um, right. different levels of flying, different levels okay. of technical. Um, some all dirt, some all pavement, some mixed, yeah. some snow. So it's a proper series, like you're finding the best driver, best stability, biggest balls, just dealing with. Nitro Rallycross, it's not for everybody. Um, no, but. <laughs> the drivers are here. They want to risk a little more. They want to try yeah. a little more. They want to go into a, a jump or a corner or something, not knowing what's going to happen before they even get there. Yeah. How did you feel much pushback from the drivers? Obviously, you bought the gap jump into rally cross, and gap jumps in a car is fucking crazy. But then, if you're too wide, like banging doors, going off the takeoff, it. How have the drivers adapted? Do you think? Now, it's a lot of drivers that will never hit nitro rally cross, but surprisingly, um, you know, we got there. Everyone's like, "No, it's too big. It doesn't work." And I jumped it. I'm like, "Okay, look, I would like to do everything first, and then let's then let's go side by side and practice. Let's see how it works." And in the race, you know, everyone that was scared, like Ken Block, had a flat tire and he was sideways and still going for the jump. It was like point two seconds faster. He's like, yeah, point two seconds, point two seconds. Let's go. Speaking of things being faster, do we know? Uh, obviously, Lennon's been. Remodeled for this weekend. How's the Joker? How's the sort of time balance on the Joker compared to? We haven't, uh, haven't got a feel for the Joker and the, the balance yet. Uh, we'll all kind of learn together uh, <laughs> as we're out there. But no, it's, this isn't an ideal Joker. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I liked where it was before, but just how we changed that corner, it's almost yeah. impossible to, to come in without uh, damaging <laughs> something. I think yeah. jumping over that big berm. So yeah, yeah, it should be good. Um, first round with the FC One X. Oh, F1CX. Oh, FC1X. Yeah, I know the name. I'm confused. The electric cars. That's the one. You're the petrol head. Like, since I was a kid, you've been, you know, the guy with engines who does crazy shit. How is it without an engine? Uh, yesterday was my first day driving. I uh, saw the clip. You had yeah. some big eyes. Yeah. I, I mean, my third lap was the biggest lap I turned all day. Obviously, the tires you know, kind of fell yeah. off. But um, don't wait at home when I got in. Uh, definitely a little more acceleration. You see it, you don't hear the noise. You're like, oh, that, that's pretty good. And then you're like, well, yeah, I'm not going down here. Right, uh, you feeling good for the ride? I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for taking the time for a month. 13 inches of suspension of travel as well so let's keep on watching brief on what happens then in these free practice sessions no joker lap being used for free practice too just to remind you so i'm really keen to see what these supercars are going to be all about here at nitro rally cross as chris meets makes his way down into the bottom end of paddock and across the siding line So I'm here with Andreas Backerud. Yep. 
also called aka snack root snack root <laughs> the king of the snacks yeah. with the fastest gla uh, glass in the fastest world fastest glasses in the world <laughs> guaranteed <laughs> What do you reckon to live in Hill? Uh, I mean, first of all, they've invested a lot of money into building the chest and brief a bit different with a bank, higher bank, also a bigger jump. I think it's a good investment. Like, we yep. had a, a few laps here the other day, and it, it's, it's nice, it's very different. The only thing is that it hasn't had the time to compact really well. Oh, okay, so it's still it's throwing dust the, Yeah, and dust and rotting, and like, I, I think we will see a lot of like track maintenance and stuff oh, okay. being done this week. And first race in the electric cars. It's called FC1X. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's very hard. I'm glad you know, because yeah. I've said it every order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> F1. Yeah, F yeah. Who is the F1? <laughs> How are they? Fast? It's fast. Especially the acceleration, but we do not get away from like the car is much heavier than a supercar. It's so, 300 like, kilos? Yeah, about. 300 kilos, uh, 320, something like that. And at the end of the day, you can't, you can't bring the same G-forces around the corner as you can with supercars. So you okay. need to go, drop lower in speed at the mid-corner, but at the same time the acceleration is insane. Um, yeah. I personally wish there was a bit more sound to it. Obviously, yeah. you find fans will will see um, that it's different. Yeah, the supercar, the rumble, like, yeah. you feel it in your chest, yeah. but here it's going to be interesting. Yeah. More tire noise, more yeah. sort of track At the same noise. time, we have like a push to pass button where we get 150 kilowatts for five seconds that we can use. Okay. Or we get 50 kilowatts for 15 seconds. Okay. And I wish also for the future that we get something like you guys can see when we are pressing and pushing. Okay, like the. No, you um, don't know. Formula E yeah, of the yeah. hybrid boost button. Yeah. Okay, so. No, nobody can see when we use it, so it's kind of like. I mean, your car's just started yeah. and we can still talk. Yeah. <laughs> Feels mad, crazy. Right? <laughs> McConnell was warming his car up. Yeah. I was talking to Travis earlier yeah. and you're just shouting at him. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. this far away, he's shouting. So, two long straights that they didn't. Yeah. So, do you think. Yeah, that's, that's making six tenths of a second. Oh wow, so yeah, it's a big difference. Yeah, yeah. And, so uh, it could potentially be from being like two car lanes back to four on the other side of it. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be crazy. Yeah. You feel good? You feel yeah, good on the track? I think so. on practice we were about, I, I would say we were the fastest without being cocky. <laughs> Always be cocky. <laughs> Always be cocky. <laughs> uh, but you know, when the race is out, then everything is different. Yeah. So. And the track is also a bit, the dirt is a bit different now. Oh, they've put the gravel on top. And they're new cars, so plenty of door banging. And, and, and I think it's all about avoiding like mistakes and problems. Yeah. But I'm sorry, I have to go and change. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much, man. with Fraser McConnell. Uh, so, first driver champion, Jamaica. Right. Yeah. First, Supercar wins Jamaica. Okay. Very clearly passionate about where you're from. Okay. Passionate about driving and everything. What do you reckon to the new Little Hill track and the remodeling? It's my first time here and honestly, to be as a legendary track. I do like the little player that Nigel has thrown in. Um, yeah. I would have liked a bigger jump. Sure. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> you know, it's wicked that we get to introduce the, the night of time. For exactly, like, like, yeah. first where where rally got started. Yeah, uh, 1967, I think, first race. And, um, so is this your first time racing at all? Yes, yes. Yeah, so it's, it's yeah, good yeah. crafting, I'd a good love, adjustment. I'd love to one day come and race in the original format and you know get the, yeah, the old job. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to do that, but um, we're just working with what we have now and making the best of it. And then you're running supercars yeah. and the electric yeah. car. Yeah. How are you finding the balance between, because we've seen who is falling in, jumping straight into yeah. another car, like how different are they? It's, it's difficult because um, you do have to take a completely different approach in the car yeah. when, you're, when you're on track. And, you know, um, the full reset, the whole mind reset, yeah. especially when the gap is so tight. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's a much bigger car, it's much heavier, um, wider, longer. Yeah. Um, um, it's a much, they have to be much more perfect, really. Yeah, especially the, the, the tires we have now, there's, there's no radial tires, so there's no warning. 
you don't get that warning slide, you kind of just on the edge and then smash. Very, very Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, a lot, a lot of movement in the car, but it is still faster than the... Yeah, how are you finding the difference in like, the acceleration between them? Well, it's, 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 it's instant power. So, you know, if, if I'm in third gear and I go full shock, I'm going to get everything. Yes. And um, that's very easy to overdrive. Yes. So, if I'm um, you know, trying to be neat and kind of, kind of want to get to the top of fast, you have to be so patient or you're just going to spin the tires and, you know, what A, destroy the tires, B, you just go and see. Yeah, destroy cars. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Go on. And then, uh, the last thing, how are you finding like the push to pass, the extra boost and things like that? It's, it's a new strategy that we've that we implemented for sure. Uh, no one's perfected it, but you know, um, it's going to be it's, it's kind of a game of who learns little tricks faster. Is that your spot of sort of giving you the idea? To um, the the brackets, you the brackets are pretty simple because, you know, um, when I do my joke, I use everything in the second half. Yeah, just just to close down that gap. But yeah, in you, um, back row, we've also been using it the entire second half just to, yeah, to make it exactly. exactly. So it's um, it, it's hard to know when it's perfect, but hindsight is always twenty twenty. And maybe if I can't do it, I'll better. But yeah, don't know. you feel good for tomorrow? Yeah, man, very. Yeah. We had the fastest lap time in the week, as well as super fast. So you know, we know the base there. Yeah, I'm I'm comfortable with my race craft. Awesome. Thank you so much. Man. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday. It is day two of Nitro Rallycross. Yesterday we had all the battle brackets, which is where the Group E cars and the supercars are going head to head. They're sort of finding out their positioning for the heat semi-finals and finals today. So that's going to be really exciting. Got to chat to some people, chat to some childhood heroes. So. Pretty awesome day, looking forward to getting there. But first I have to do my programs, drink coffee. Rule number one of staying in hotels, especially in England, is buy your own coffee because it tastes like shit from a normal hotel. We will catch up with you at the track and hopefully see some fast cars. So we have just got to Lydon Hill, we got a coffee and we've got some toasties and they look fucking amazing. It's nearly time to go racing. Woo! So, here, day two, night for Rallycross. How are you feeling? We had uh, some English weather for you, so. Yeah, no, it's good. It's been absolutely beautiful. So, it's woke up this morning, got the, got the jackets and sweatshirts <laughs> on. Uh, maybe a little bit of rain, but uh, it's rally, it's Rallycross. Uh, rain's good. Uh, no one's ever been on the rain tire that I know of. No. Uh, so, at least none of my guys. So, <laughs> it'll be interesting if it does rain. And, you know, but I, I like that. I like that you're. You know, it puts it more into kind of the driver's hands and a little bit more like anyone kind of has a shot at. Yeah, the best driver is going to win rather than crash this car. So. Well, yeah, and they're all, all the cars are the same, you know, and but you can figure out mechanically, like it's yeah. sometimes it's not the fastest driver, but it's uh, the driver that understands what he needs out of the car uh, before yeah. anyone else figures it out. Are you, uh, how do you feel about yesterday as well? How do you feel? Yeah, you, not, you know, you handled up the track. And... For me, it was, uh, it was a really rough thing. Uh, yeah. We still actually, we've got a, we had a power steering, um, I hit the wall with the power steering and overrode the sensor. Okay. And they can't get the car to even start back up right now, so oh, or, or some time. turn on. <laughs> so uh, hopefully they get all that started. I'm sure the guys are good. But it's yeah, it's a whole new world because my yeah. mechanics thing. They're like, look, we changed everything we can change. We got to wait for the computers. There's no spark plugs to it. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. So it's you know, it's going to be a learning. Line. But at the end of the day, it's it's been a lot of fun. Uh, the drivers are really enjoying the cars. Uh, they're super fast. Yeah, it's and the suspension works great. Thing. So yeah, awesome. Right, have a good day, man.
All right, back in. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the car. <laughs> Here we have Jonathan, my engineer, uh, dialing in the last bits. Got to jump into this car. Here we go. All right, so this is my kind of viewing point, the steering wheel. Here we have the launch control, but also the push to pass button where we have 150 kilowatts. Is that correct? Yeah. When we push this for 10 or seconds 50. or 50. Yeah, you have a choice. All right, I go 150. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wiper, horn, uh, launch uh, control. So instead of RPM, it's, well, it's a map. It's a map, right? It's like RPM map. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Not RPM, but similar. Race map, region like uh, engine braking, region uh, to regenerate uh, more power or more battery to the, to the car. And then different steering map. We have fans, washer and radio. And here, down here, we have the gears, drive neutral, reverse. A new of this year is that we have a big screen. Here is the status screen showing all the different parameters. Here is the indicate that everything is okay. When it's green, when it's red, it's not. And here we have the gears. We have three gears in this car. First, second, third. We mainly use second and third. Handbrake. And these two buttons here, P1, P2, is uh, basically ignition and... What do we call this? High voltage. High voltage. Radio down there. Gas and brake, no clutch down here. Tons of carbon, two cameras up here. Big ass roll cage, loads of cables for, for the battery. There's one battery under here and one battery just underneath me, going all the way underneath the seat and up. So yeah, that was tour in the FC1 X car.